All right, thanks so much, David. Well, a sick child is no easy task to take care of. The battles to a white bernie noses and those tantrums fueled by headaches and achy muscles might come to mind. But as parents rush to their usual pharmacy, in a lot of cases they're finding empty shelves where child pain medication would typically be. Erie News Now's Kara Jeffers has a story for us this morning. It's a national shortage fueled by continued high infection numbers of COVID, flu, and RSV. The manufacturers kind of produce these drugs before the cold and flu season hit. That way they're on the shelves for the pharmacies, but you know, since they didn't expect the rates to be as high as they are, they're definitely trying to play catch up now. Amoxicillin and fever reducers for children are in short supply, especially fever reducers in liquid form. It could be February before we see average availability for amoxicillin and those liquid fever reducers, though other forms of children's pain meds should be back to normal supply within a few weeks. Until then, there are ways to sidestep the shortage. Well, you're probably used to seeing the Tylenol and the Motrin jump out on the shelf, but generally the generics are right next to it, and that'd be acetaminophen and um, ibuprofen. You may have your one pharmacy that you really prefer, but there are a lot of options. There's a lot of chains out there. There's a lot of independents that you can call and ask them and they'll be willing to help you. If you normally use the liquid form, check for chewable tablets. And if you're just looking to stock up, checking online is also an option. And lastly, if your supply is running low and your child gets a fever, you can be more selective on when you give them that medicine. If they have a fever, maybe it's 100, maybe 101. They don't necessarily need to be treated right away with the over-the-counter medications. If a fever is the only symptom, it's okay to wait. But as soon as a child is not wanting to drink water or is acting lethargic or generally uninterested in their normal activities, give them that medicine. Most importantly, never be afraid to ask questions. You can always ask any pharmacy, any pharmacist. They'll definitely be willing to help you and make sure you're finding the right thing for your child.